Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Instant Replay Live. Wow, you nailed it. <laughs> so we're jumping in then. Yeah, go for it. I think that's the best take I'm going to get, right? <laughs> uh, we only tried this like a couple thousand times oh, beforehand. Oh, come on. I did um, We had did to get one water. Uh, we had to <laughs> blow a fan on him just so he could calm down. Uh, I did doing? one this, before. Uh, arcade rules? Is that... Uh, probably. So that seems right. Yeah. Pick oh, your guy. Man. Or your girl. That guy has he, quite a mouth. He is the crazy taxi guy. Like Dude, This guy's a cannibal, right? <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, his, that's his backstory. He picks up passengers. I think I always played Gus, so I'm going to play Gus. Okay. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Right. Oh boy, what are the controls? 50, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's accelerate with right trigger. Oh, that's, oh, that's reverse maybe. Oh, oh, wait, try try the not, other one? Okay. Oh, that's, you had to switch into... Yeah. into well, here. I switched into reverse on the start. Oh, right. So just so we're on the up and up, this is not on Dreamcast. We are playing a port, PC port. Um, so we've got the, you know, yeah. oh, Xbox boy, style Logitech so controller. Yeah, know, that's right. And uh, we're rolling through here. Man, uh, I, so... I was just talking about this, and I, I mentioned it because you said you, had, you didn't quite know. But uh, I used to have a Dreamcast, and I had this game on Dreamcast. What is breaks? What is breaks? What, that's reverse. Yeah. And because you didn't, whatever happened with the Dreamcast that you're about to bring up, you kind of told me a half story before we started. Yeah, and I that was sure. while I was in college. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. I gotta figure out what the break button is. <laughs> it's killing me. I, I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't played this game. I played a little bit um, when I first picked this up in a Humble Bundle, the, the Sega okay, Humble Bundle, in fact. Trade. But, uh, man. Yeah, so... It's... Oh, God. It, I hope this, like, doesn't make people sick watching it. Oh, it's gonna be so I feel good. like people are gonna have a real hard time with this one. Those are good jumps, God, though. so much fun. Yeah. Um, it does kind of take you back, oh, right? Oof. Oh. Oh. You're gonna hit that person. <laughs> I, I wanted to. Yeah. Um, no, okay, but I do. I do want to mention because the story of how the dream, my dream, our Dreamcast went away was quite sad. All right. Um, so. Do we want to depress everybody? <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 that's that's what I live for. Oh my gosh! I can't believe you made that. Do you get some extra time or no? Is that it? Oh, that's it. I lent. All right. Are we are we trading off? Yeah. yeah turn for turn. Get this one. Okay. Then, well, yeah. now you can actually tell your story unhindered. Jeez. Is that a good? Is that a good one? Ah, uh, this, this is something. Mm. Enjoy a refreshing monster. No, we are not. <laughs> are, they, are they not paying us? I think they're paying us. <laughs> We're not branding anyone. Mm. If you do, um, one, I guess do I want already did channel, we'll, say we will, we will take that branding. We'll get, <laughs> yeah. Please money us. I also did say Logitech right off the start, but that just happens to be <laughs> what my controller is. Say, That's Nick, not. Is that a snowball mic? All right. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> And, and what brand is yours? We don't even know. <laughs> Not off the top of our heads. Um, well, you know what I miss? Doritos roulette chips. I guess I'll do arcade as well because yeah. you uh, you did that. And I'm going to be this guy because he is straight up what I associate with Crazy Taxi. Yeah, I think he's on the cover of it. He's, yeah, those teeth, man. <laughs> oh, check him out. Oh, I thought he was going to drive that way somehow. All right, so you have fun learning the controls. All right, well, I seem to be doing... Okay. Um, yeah, so the dream Cable cars. car, stop, top. So, four. Ooh, wrong um, way. I lent the oh, Dreamcast boy. and all of our Dreamcast games. I guess it was technically mine, but I lent them all yeah. to Brian, um, along with mm. my copy of Wind Waker and the GameCube. Oh, God. Um, Brian, our uncle Brian, his uh, girlfriend at the time, uh, sold them for, you know, wh what we assume was uh, mm -hmm. Illicit black market money, yeah. Black um, market money. Yeah, we're going to go with that. She was buying some livers or something. Some black market money. But yeah, Dreamcast. so I lost, like, I lost Sonic Heroes, or the Sonic Adventures, and uh, oh, how do I reverse? Crazy Taxi, and Wind Waker, and all these games. God, oh, that man. sucks. It was dark. Wait, Wind Waker was on Dreamcast? No, I, I let them, <laughs> in addition to the Dreamcast, my GameCube. They were like, hey, oh. man, we want to play some games. And I was like, oh, of course, of course, you know. Yeah. I love sharing games. But yeah, I got the GameCube back. The Dreamcast was yours. I, uh... I never even really played much on it. Yeah, I it, remember. It wasn't my kind of system. It, well, we talked about this actually before. Am I doing like all the same missions you did? It feels like it. It does. Um, but we talked about this before. Like, oh god, no, oh, no, I'm, I'm having so many accidents. Um, Crazy throw. That's right around the time, like late high school for me, was when I was kind of done with consoles, you know, and uh, <laughs> there was no reason. Other than, well, PC Master Race kind of stuff, right? Like, right, sure. I decided that PCs were better. You could do mods. Oh, man, I missed a jump there. And, that I mean, sweet. 
th- it just it, it doesn't feel the same being a, a lowly console peasant. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I kind of I missed out on a lot of games in this era. Just crazy taxi stuff. So we lost the the Dreamcast there. You know, I actually have a similar story um, with the Sega Genesis and oh, yeah. um, Sega 32X and Sega CD. I had all of those. And I got in trouble for something, and Mom took them away from me. And I don't remember what that something is. I thought you got more time when you helped people. Maybe not in arcade you mode. You did. You did get some more time. Out there. Oh, all right. Well, uh, Nick wins. Nick is the best. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I got a thousand two hundred fifty-six. I got a class D, and you got a you got a class E. You just you can't just look at me in silence. <laughs> you can't. All right. But yeah, we have to we have to keep going. I guess let's register a new name, and it is oh triple A. Yeah, triple A. It's this is not branding. <laughs> We're not branding triple A. AutoCAD. Uh, 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 CAC. <laughs> that playthrough was CAC. All right, you take over. Play. But yeah, similar story. Uh, I got in trouble. The Dreamcast. I'm sorry. The, the Genesis 32X. Joe. I kind of didn't. Joe. It, just, it came natural to me. 32X, Sega CD were all taken away from me um, as punishment for like a month long period. Like that was the deal. And so they were hidden away. And then when it was finally time, like my punishment period was over, mom went to go get them and they were gone. Man. Somebody. Stole, or at least that's the story she told me. <laughs> um, I assume it was probably the same person who took your Dreamcast. Mm. Uh, well, not the same person, I guess, if you think it was his girlfriend. Same. Well, it definitely was. Yeah, so same scenario, though. Um, so that's two Sega systems we lost. That's interesting. Man, so speaking of, uh, this is something I was uh, just thinking about today, uh, with punishments. Um, mm. So I was... I just moved back to Virginia not too long ago, and uh, I was just kind of chatting up people, random people today, and uh, met somebody who was from nearby. And the subject of where I went to school uh, as a kid, uh, Ware Academy over in Gloucester, mm-hmm. came up. And uh, there's not a lot to say about Ware Academy, except that... Um, <laughs> can you can you give a rough estimate of how many students they have? Because I know it's yeah, small. Yeah, it was... I mean, so, like, I think the most telling thing is, when I was there in eight, the 8th grade class, I wasn't in 8th grade, but the 8th grade class had four students. <laughs> yeah. Um... Mine was the largest. We had two classrooms. Joe, you're passing... Joe! Oh, I was so invested in my story. You're passing up your stuff! Anyways... You have lost so hard. Don Quixote, you have lost it. (laughs) Um... Anyways, so what I wanted to get to was, Wear Academy is kind of like your British boarding school. You got, like, the, uh, the uniforms and whatnot, but minus the, kind of, the the cruel punishments, or so I thought. Uh Oh. I don't know if I told you this story, but I got... ISS uh, in there one 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 day and it was in, first in thing. school. Oh, do you need to register your name first? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. ISS is about to get registered, I think. No, I'm gonna go for. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> oh, we're going. We're making our way downtown. Walking <laughs> fast. Stop, can't, you can't go too far with it if you do that. You can do that. You just gotta be careful. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I, I liked my more subtle. Okay. Okay. There Cop. We go. Yeah, I'm a cop. If you're a cop, you have to tell me. You know that, right? Anyway, so what I had done was... All right, let's try a different mode. We sure. played Darkade twice. What is crazy? We played it three months? times, Nick. Uh, Use your math. Play, original by arcade rules. <laughs> um, if I play again for five full minutes, it. it's going to end our episode. Do it. You got enough stuff? Yeah. All right. This is going to be a fun story. Okay. Uh, should dovetail into some others. I'll try to be the, the chick, see if she plays any different. Do they all play exactly the same? Yes. Oh, There's but no. she's sexy 515. Oh, no. Five sexy 515. Sexy five ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's that's one more than four ever. <laughs> um, so, what I had done at Wear Academy, I had uh-huh. taken my stack of books. We were, at, we were at the end of the day, and I was walking up to the chairs down for, like, the waiting for our parents oh, to Oh, I missed up. my turn. And, Please uh, tell me there's a better way around here. I... I took my stack of books and I tossed them about three feet into a chair, and oh. the teachers flipped out. They thought that I had like endangered the lives of other students. This sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah, I, we I might think... have told you. Yeah, so, anyways, yeah. For throwing my stack of books about three feet. Oh my god! How toss. do I get where I need to go? I got in-school suspension, and um, 
the the nature of in school suspension at Ware Academy, the school down by the highway, was the school down by the highway. That was our song. Ware Academy, the school down by the highway. Wait, for real? And that was on loop. I don't think they had any other lyrics. The original was just Ware Academy, you serious? the school down by the highway. Ware Academy, the school down by the highway. There might have been something else, but how I'm pretty is, sure that was the only words. How is that a song? Um, well, it was the school. It was on the highway. Like, but how is that indicative of anything of the quality of your yeah. school? Well, it was not a quality school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I say that kind of untrue. Like, there were some really good teachers, and then there was a lot of sure. things that I really disagreed with. But I, I had some some of my favorite teachers from there. Anyways. Yeah, I mean, I went to Lancaster Public School for most of my uh, upbringing, and let me tell mm. you, that's not a good school. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that. I feel like that's unfortunately true for a large majority of schools in general. Yeah. I mean, granted, I am talking about a time frame that's like way. But Jesus, where am I going? I don't know. Into the it's water. Like apparently. apparently, yeah. Can I get in the water? All right, maybe. Dude, right. you gotta hit that. You, you got ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, you got All it. Right. Good. Yeah, you're counting so, down an awful long time. Um. Um. Oh boy. To, <laughs> to try to get wrap my, my car. story here. Yeah, yeah. Went to ISS. So this is how ISS is at Ware Academy. I was put in the attic without what? supervision what? all day long, and they gave me a sack of work, pay, of, 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 like schoolwork to do. Um, I have an aquatic convertible. So in this attic, oh, like I was just oh sitting by myself with just like, you know like whatever like old school worksheets or whatever. Uh-huh. The first weird encounter I had was that there were wasps in this attic, a whole <laughs> nest of wasps, and this I told made up. like no, it's I'm not even joking like. This was like, I'm looking out over, like, the playground in the attic, stuck up there by myself. It's above the music room, but no one's doing music class today, so it's just dead quiet. Um, all the students are in their classroom, like, under the building across what? from me. And um, there's wasps in here, and I go down, <laughs> and, wasps I, I, in here. I go down and tell them, because the wasps start buzzing around, and they're like, just just, just ignore them. They won't, they won't bother you if you don't bother them. <laughs> but when I got back up, I found a fly swatter. Okay. So I spent the next few hours not doing my schoolwork, and instead waging war with these wasps. Oh my god. Joe, do you know how stupid that was? I, it was so dumb. You, you, like, I, I actually ended up running out of there in the middle of music class because I had angered them. Like, uh, the yes. first two didn't seem to do anything, but after, like, about yeah. four, they got really riled yeah, up. Yeah, they swarm. That's they, what that, wasps do. They did. They I did. mean, granted, you were left alone with wasps. Mom, so, oh, how did we not sue that school and become <laughs> super... Oh, I have a person. I'm trying to pick up somebody. But I, 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 uh, I had to run downstairs to interrupt the uh, the chorus of students playing recorders uh -huh. um, and uh, tell, tell my music teacher. Um, and she just told me to sit on the stairs until they calmed down. <laughs> so I got to spend a little bit of time out. But what, My eyes uh, are so wide them, yeah. right now, and it's not doing anything for the show. But what <laughs> yeah. in the world... So the last, I think, clothing thing to say about this is at the end of the day, or like the last few hours of the school day. Oh, whatever, God, oh, God, oh, God, um, oh, God. During recess time. Six, five, go I, on. I, I endured one of the, the most like visually stuck in my mind things I've ever seen, which was I was standing next to the window and the other students were walking out to the playground for recess. Uh -huh. And I was just like the lonely kid, like hand on the glass, <laughs> like... <laughs> I want to play. Meanwhile, being murdered by wasps. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had my friends in, in, in the room yeah. with me. Yeah, so yeah. I wasn't completely lonely. Right, yeah. It was, it, it's just something that's just stuck in my mind, watching that... the other kids go to recess from an attic by myself that I've been in all day. That is some crazy stuff. It was really stuff. bizarre. I mean, I didn't, honestly, it wasn't a bad day for me. Too, um, yeah. <laughs> because when it comes down to it, it I wasn't, wasn't a too, bad day for me. I wasn't sitting in a lecture all day. Like, I got to find my own entertainment. I read the, sh I read the shit out of Marl Fox. Um, Jeez. So good. Oh man, that, that was the I'm year so that I really read those Red Wall books. It's not the wrong way. That was actually probably one of my favorite teachers of that school was the librarian. Oh. This like super French you know accent what? lady. I had good librarians as well yeah. throughout my school career. But this lady had um, like oh, a doing. French accent to the max, and everything she recommended I read. Nice. Um, and I remember her telling me about Red Wall for the first time. She was like, "How did she oh. tell you about Red Wall for the first time and not me?" I, I don't know, but she was definitely the one who got me to read it. Because I know I was. Because she Red got Wall. me to read Moss. Um, is it Mossflower? Is that the name of the? Uh, Their kingdom, Mossflower. Maybe. I think that was the first. That was the first one I read. I didn't read Redwall first. I read Mossflower. Okay. And she was telling me about Sarmina, and just like I can't do a French accent, but her speech on how evil Sarmina was was, was so good. Oh, and we can't uh, register any new names. No. I guess cack, we'll stick cock, with cack. Cock. And we'll end there. So thanks yeah. for for watching our visually disturbing uh, taxi play while Joe told a 
horribly emotionally scarring childhood story. Yeah, scarring. I just said it was great. I didn't have to yeah. listen to lectures all day. I'm I'm curious if anyone has ever had anything like that ever go on, because that seems like we should have sued the school, and then we wouldn't have to make this let's play. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> kidding. Um, but how did that not happen? Anyhow, leave your comments. Maybe uh, subscribe if you're enjoying these stories and. Uh, we probably won't play Crazy Taxi again, but we do have a lot of other games going on, so check us out. Got any last words, Joe? Before the wasps come back. Wasps? <laughs> where art thou? Yeah, where are your friends? Where's my family? <laughs> <laughs>